Welcome Vinyl Community or VC and uh, welcome to my very first unboxing video. I'm a bit nervous because I've never done this and of course if I screw up I cannot do a second take. I'll try my best to do this right. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, this has to do with uh, music and it's a book about the Beatles. To be more specific this is over 700 pages and it's about uh, Beatles records in Canada and also the influence of French Canadian music in Quebec uh, from the, the influence of the Beatles. It's a book released last year in, 19, in 2014 by Gilles Vadiquette who, uh, who is a singer who made uh, several albums in the 70s and the 80s and uh, I think he made a, a CD in the 90s, uh, 1990s and even re I think he released a, an album even this year I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, see this uh, artist uh, this month to get this book signed. He's going to the, um, the book fair, um, uh, Le Salon du Livre, at Place Bonaventure. It's going to be there uh, in two weeks. And at first I was supposed to buy this book uh, at the Salon, but I found it 60% off on Amazon.ca. Uh, we'll talk about the price later at the end of the video. Let's open this thing. Okay, here goes nothing. Hopefully, and I'm, I'm a bit nervous because, well, this is this is what the book, the box looks like. Oh, the cold, cold bar here. I'm not sure if these cold bars can be scanned or anything. And it slips in the box. It's not totally uh, still in the box. So I hope it's not going to be damaged, but. What's amazing is that I didn't pay extra for shipping. I just like paid uh, for GST and that's it. No ex uh, free shipping. And uh, I ordered it uh, two days, uh, two nights ago, Wednesday night. Today is Friday. The, it was already at the uh, post office, so that's amazing. Okay. And there we go. Let's see what we have. Hmm. Corner is damaged. I knew it. Not enough padding in the box. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. This is the back of the book. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, okay. It's pretty thick, which is what I expected. Look at this. Gilles Valiquette, C'est Fou Mais C'est Tout, Parcours Discographique des Beatles au Canada. So it's like, like what it says, but it's in French. And it's the story of the Beatles, uh, the, the records of the Beatles in Canada. And it's, it's not just about that, but it's also about uh, what was really, the, all the, I'm not sure how extensively it will uh, cover um, all the uh, um, cover versions made by French Canadian artists or French Canadian bands or perhaps uh, I, I don't I didn't check too much what's in this book uh, I just never bothered looking into buying it because I can't afford a $90 book even if this book is worth it just want to make sure this is just a uh, shrink wrap with nothing written on it well. okay. Pretty flimsy packaging. I'm a little bit disappointed because yeah, the the, the corner is all bumped. But I, I I don't regret buying it, of course, from Amazon because of the 60% rebate. Okay. There we go. So the condition spine seems to be okay. A oh cut is as heavy. This is the kit right here. Like I go to a high probably don't see much here okay and uh, I like how they uh, right on the back of the book we see the three Canadian Beatle LPs because uh, if you don't already know Capitol Records of Canada released the Beatles records in Canada before uh, Capitol of U uh, in the United States signed with the Beatles uh, so these are the three 
first LPs released in Canada. I think they're Canada only LPs. Beatlemania with the Beatles, Twist and Shout the Beatles, Long Tall Sally. The only one here I have a first edition of is Long Tall Sally. A little bit yellowed, but no scratches, a little bit of groove wear. Uh, these I only have re-releases. Uh, re I don't have many first editions, first pressings. Uh, okay, this is heavy. Okay, that's. I, I won't go through the whole book, of course, but just want to browse a little bit. Not necessarily. Okay. So I'm not sure how this is showing up on the. Okay, I did not know this album had Beatles on it because I used to have this record. I just got rid of it years ago. Which one of these songs is a remake? Anyway. This rings a bell. I think I have this. <laughs> um, so it seems to have for part one. Hmm. Story of Kenny Owens. Oh, oh, story of Ca Capital Records of Canada, I suppose. It's, that makes sense. Why the heck? Freddie Garner. I have no idea why he's talking about Freddie Garner. But what's amazing is that. What <laughs> okay, this is really weird. This this right here, I'm in the mood for love by Freddie Garner on Columbia. I, this is one of my 36 first seven eights ever. <laughs> but I, I I'm wondering why. Probably very extensive talking about uh, French Canadian music uh, before the Beatles. So we have uh, La Bolduc, and uh, this is Alice Robbie. Um, yeah, Alice Robbie, Felix Leclerc, and examples of Canadian records. Okay, I have the 78, I have this 45. <laughs> okay, it's my um, capital records. I can't wait to read this. This is not just about okay. Here's the Beatles. Here, here are the Beatles records. That's it. And it has a little bit more. So it's talking about the, the all kinds of records. So where did the Beatles come in? Oh, we have a collector right here. It's amazing. How records were made at Capitol Records, Chapter Two, and we see a, a pressing plant here. Oh, I went a little bit further. Already talking about uh, the various processes, duophonic, mattress numbers. Duophonic, of course, the Beach Boys, but I don't recall any Beatles duophonic, uh, entire duophonic albums. Okay, price tag. Eaton's a store at the Simpsons, two stores that have disappeared from Montreal, in Canada. Let's skip. I'm, we're not going to check everything. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't know if this kind of 45 sleeve is a specifically Canadian sleeve or not. But uh, I have some singles with that sleeve. The re-releases on the Orange uh, Capital label. Okay, this might be the very first. Uh, not sure. 72 or 76. These these 72,000 numbers are. Um, specifically Canadian uh, singles. I don't have many of those. Okay. Labels. Different labels. Green. Uh, I, think, I think I have this one. That's uh, the green... The, the Starline label here. I've, I might have... I'm not sure if it's Kansas City or a different one I have on that label. I don't think I have any wheels on this label here, or that one. Oh, those I do. I have a few star lines like that. Hmm. A more recent star line. Never seen that. We have different LP labels. I have uh, at least one Beatles on this one. I can't remember which one, just off the top of my head. I think I have one red one like that, not sure. Hmm, it's really, really detailed. Okay, let's skip uh, a little bit. We won't go to uh, everything. Label sleeves. Okay. Uh, 
Scoriographie canadienne des Beatles, part 2. So now it's probably all going to list all of the Beatles records in Canada. So that's obviously the very first release. And it even says where they got the, the record pressed at RCA. And it described the, uh, the uh, texture of the sleeve. That's really... Uh, wow. Okay. The flip side. Wow. Talking about uh, okay, comparing with uh, the power phone label. Photos of the Beatles remakes. Oh, okay, this is going to be. Uh, that's what I was hoping to see in this book. Influences, remakes, and even sleeves and labels of the remakes. You see, I have this record. I have that rare album by the Missile. Like this is a obviously because of the Eiffel Tower. Uh, this is a um, uh, French uh, band from France, and I have uh, I, and most of the songs on this album are um, Beatles remakes. The Bel Canto here is a French Canadian band. The big hit on this album is Découragé, which is a 100% uh, Quebec uh, composition. But I kind of forgot that there's probably some uh, Beatles uh, covers on on this album. It's just oh and all the matrix information and oh my god okay I want to be careful not to damage the book please please me also released in Canada take that USA we got them before you ha ha kind of proud of that that we got the old records here of course I wasn't even born so that doesn't <laughs> my have a Oh, I have this. The Yonso. I have a few records by the Yonso. Not this one, obviously. This is very rare. But uh, I have at least one single by them. Let's skip uh, From Me to You by Del Shannon on quality in Canada. Oh, this I don't have. Yeah, this I have. It's a record by. Uh, some sort of uh, collage of stuff from the CGMS radio station. Uh, this uh, is uh, uh, downtown Montreal, uh, Bailey and the Maison Neuve, I think, if I'm not uh, wrong. And uh, the in the 80s and 90s, when I used to go there, this was th there were two record stores in this building. It was not uh, CGMS anymore. And I bought a lot of records. Uh, it was the Marché du Disque and the Colisée du Livre. I bought bags and bags of records. I have this. <laughs> I think I do, yes. An EP by Claude François. It's all kinds of uh, technical particularity. Oh, what a nice photo. <laughs> hey, is that Roy Oberson? Oh, yeah, they toured together. I remember reading about that somewhere. I love Roy Orbison. He's a singing angel. Uh, an angel's voice. Oh, the Beatles singing, sitting with other bands. So there's a little bit of everything I see. There's talking about okay in de in great great detail, talking about the Beatles records in Canada, but also talking about the Beatles themselves and talking about stuff that was released by other artists in in Quebec. We're only down to our pages is numbered 166 and there's over 700. Yeah, conclusion here, page 700. So let's. I won't go through the whole thing. The video is already 14 minutes long, but this I have a few copies of Beatlemania with the Beatles with all the uh, the quotes here. Hmm. Magazines comparing with other records. I, I can't wait to read this book and see all the the angles. You see, the Baronet was a band, a trio, uh, with Jean Bone, Pierre Labelle, and this is René Angelil, Céline Dion's husband and manager. And they used to do mostly covers of uh, Dave Clark Five and Beatles songs in French. And their biggest hit was C'est Fou Mais C'est Tout, which is the title of this book. Which is pretty clever. <laughs> So you have other remakes because French singers released their records in Canada and even their, their remakes. Oh yeah, this I have of course. 
we used to I have this one also this I've never seen this is an extremely rare picture sleeve uh, for their one of their singles I have this one autographed by Donald Lautrec it has a Toi l'ami which is All My Lovin done by Donald Lautrec Oh Darling done in French by Patrick Zabé and let's see I will skip because I we can't get through the whole the whole list this is so cool because it's it, it's perfect for a collector like me. I'm French Canadian. I 60% of my collection is is, is Quebec and and uh, French stuff. And you have all these covers, these rare covers. Some collectors like uh, we're a bunch of collectors collecting Beatles covers in in French, in French Canadian especially. And uh, this will give me. Uh, I think I have that one. Yep, yep, yep. I think I do. It's going to be cool to spot all these records I have by others. And I have this one, but not the first edition. And have a re-release uh, of this album, uh, a 1987 re-release. Chains. Uh, I think I have that one. I have this. I have this. I think I have this. I'm almost sure I have this but with a different cover yeah chance is chains which is not a Beatles song but it was covered by the Beatles on their first album so they're really going deep into all the influence and connections with the Beatles I have this album uh, do you want to know a secret by Lucky Blanto this is a Pierre Trois if I I have to read this but I think I have this album I think that uh, j'ai un secret à te dire which is uh, on this album is the very first uh, Canadian, French Canadian remake of a Beatles song. It's a Do You Want to Know a Secret? I do have this album. I have Twist and Child. Du uh, que j'aime. I have this album also. Damn, it's all like I'm. I have this. I have that. Uh, Taste of Honey, but also not a Beatles song, but the, the Beatles covered that song, so. Yeah, let's let's go faster. This video is already 17 minutes long. You <laughs> won't go to the whole book, unless uh, unless of course uh, you you, you want to see more. I can do a part two, depending on the comments. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, even talking about uh, VJ and Tolly Records. Long tall Sally, um, I call it. <laughs> talking about all kinds of. Uh, yeah, I have this one. The View Piano by Claire Lepage. I forgot that's the French version of what exactly. I, I All the little details of each version. Oh, okay, that's pretty rare. Four by the Beatles, I've never seen that. I have, I have all of the Beatles records at least once, but not rare stuff. I don't have many first editions. I, my collection is quite humble, actually. Um, songs about the Beatles. We Love the Beatles by the Vernon Girls. We Love the Beatles by the Carefree. I think I have this. I'm not sure. And uh, there's a band of of uh, women band called the Beatlettes. I ha I have 145 by them. Damn. This is really really extensive. And this book instead of $89.95 was at $35.85 plus $1.79 GST free shipping cost me in Canadian money $37.64 and what brought pushed me to buy this book is because Gilles Valiquette is going to be at the uh, like I said earlier I think he's going to be signing books um, at uh, the um, Le Salon du Livre and uh, I'm mostly going to get I want to get him to because Gilles Valiquette is also a singer I want him to sign a, a record but I forgot to bring it close to the camera but anyway and I think I'm going to bring this book with me to get it signed. 
Damn, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, we saw this one earlier. Oh, I think I have this. Uh oh. There's all kinds of. Yeah, I have the United Artist. Oh, I don't have a single of these 45s, though. Not a single one. Oh, cool photos, man. So it seems to be the book for Canadian fans of the Beatles, and I think it can be enjoyed even if you don't speak uh, French, you don't, don't read French. Yeah, I want that record, but I don't want to pay top dollar for it. Eventually I'll find it. Chad Atkin picks on the Beatles. I'd like to have that one. <laughs> so that's about it. I'm not going to cover the whole book unless I get enough requests to I have this one. Not sure why it's. Yeah, I think there's a Beatle cover on that one. Something new. I have a. S I I know I have something new with this label. Um, yeah. I do have the Chipmunk sing the Beatles. It's really really extensive. It's because w there's so much you can say about the Beatles records, but oh, Matchbox. You see, Matchbox by Carl Perkins. I have the 78 on on this label of Matchbox. This is a 45. Beatles in Montreal, of course. So yeah, let's stop right here, and pretty mu it's pretty much the same thing across the whole book. Oh yeah, they're covering the Beatles covers, cover versions, way more than I expected. Butcher cover, of course. Kind of record if I would get, I would not be able to afford to keep it. I would have to sell it. Nowhere. Oh my God! I have this album. It's pretty rare. Attends maintenant par les atomes. There's a there's a French version of Michel. I have the 45 of that, and I found this album. Not not easy to find. That's the, the copy I bought is the only one I ever found. There's a little bit of groove wear on it. I paid the Ah Je l'aime, which is a French version of Girl by Johnny Hallyday. Huge huge star in France. Uh, I have that 45. I have this album here, La Terre Promise. I forgot which song by the Beatles is on that album. This is Run For Your Life by Andre E. P. L. Lanon. Not sure I have the 45, but I do have it on LP. Can't even stop. Oh, paperback writer and ring. Oh, yeah, I remember why I kept going. Because I do have this Nowhere Man. Canadian release, first edition. I paid five for a dollar in a yard sale. There's a little scuff on it that cannot even be felt. It's one of my favorite 45s I have. I, my my 45 collection is really lame uh, for the Beatles, I mean. And uh, but I do have that one. And Nowhere Man needs to be heard in mono. I don't care for the stereo uh, version of that song. Anyway, let's stop right here. And uh, thank you for watching and. One, if you have any requests or you want more information about this book, just, just let me know and uh, I'll uh, either answer questions or perhaps make a follow-up book a video. Thank you for watching.